welcome to bsc statistics students uh, in this lesson i explain what are the differences between pert and cpm the two particular important te techniques uh, uh, which we are using in the network scheduling this is pert and this is cpm i uh, compare these two techniques uh, and what are the differences uh, i explain here in this class the pert is used for non repetitive jobs which means uh, for example planning and assembly of the space uh, platform that is in the space uh, some kind of uh, what are the activities are going to be planning planned and uh, what is the assembly of some particular uh, uh, activity of the space uh, etc which are all cannot be uh, repetitive process not under the repetitive uh, process not are the repetitive jobs activities so uh, where exactly the pert is going to be used and the cpm is used for repetitive jobs cpm it is used in the repetitive jobs for example planning and construction of a building it is a repetitive process the process is repetitive then where exactly cpm is going to be used right uh, coming to the second point uh, pert is an event uh, oriented since uh, calculations are expressed in terms of the events so pert is event oriented so which we have explained uh, uh, we have uh, discussed very clearly that uh, uh, the event and uh, activity events are nothing but if you join two events you will get an activity activity is formed with the help of joining uh, two particular events events are nodes connector right and uh, cpm is activity oriented since the calculations are considered in terms of the activities of the project critical path method is an activity oriented uh, 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 programming and pert is a event oriented programming event oriented calculations and uh, techniques and coming to the third point pert is a probabilistic that is undeterministic uh, kind of model where exactly uncertain there is an uncertainty in the duration of the time no certainty the uh, it uh, will not completed uh, in a specified uh, time um, that is the uh, uh, kind of activity uh, the part is going to be considered whereas cpm is deterministic model it deals with the known activity times hence the hence no uncertainty in the project duration that is cpm is one kind of deterministic model where exactly no uncertainty right uh, uh, just now we have discussed the planning and construction of a building etc right and uh, pert the so fourth point another point it is applied for planning and scheduling research programs where exactly this is one of the very important uh, uh, concept of uh, the example of the pert it is applied in the planning and scheduling the research programs where, whereas uh, cpm it is going to be applied in the construction and business problems right this is the major difference in the pert and cpm and uh, coming to the fifth one coming to the fifth one the pert involves the some kind of statistical analysis of determining the probabilities uh, estimating the time periods the time of completing the project uh, etc which are which involves some kind of statistical analysis whereas critical path method does not incorporate and does not involve any kind of statistical analysis which means uh, in determination of time estimates etc the no need to estimate the time periods uh, determine that is uh, our uh, probabilities are not required here in the cpm in cpm whereas pert involves uh, depends on the uh, uh, kind some kind of uh, finding the probabilities uh, what is the probable completion of that particular job or probable completion of the entire project and uh, we have to estimate the time periods of complete uh, completion of the project etc mm, whereas uh, cpm does not incorporate does not incorporate and uh, uh, it does not involve any uh, statistical analysis for determining the time estimates estimating the time periods variances etc and uh, uh, the last one one more point this is useful control uh, useful for controlling device like a control device by assisting the management in controlling the project by indicating certain delays in the activities that is it indicates part indicates uh, because this is a one kind of statistical analysis uh, 
it uh, assists the uh, management uh, assists the it uh, um, uh, generally uh, help the management uh, helps the management in controlling the project by indicating certain delays the what kind of delays are going to be taken place uh, and this uh, these are the delays may be may occur in the in the um, project uh, and so these are the some particular uh, uh, delays in the activities uh, which are all going to be uh, analyzed in the pert analysis uh, which helps the management uh, uh, in controlling this uh, project whereas uh, cpm is uh, not at all a controlling device to the management cpm critical path method it is not at all a controlling device to the management these are the major and very important differences between the pert and cpm thank you thank you very much